Hey guys, this is Honor Okada, otherwise known as Lush. I currently play as the dedicated support role for Team Tempo Storm. Today I'm going to show you how to make your game look like this. Uh, what this is, is a play on the LOD scale, or the level of detail scale. Um, it removes all the decals and the uh, high particle effects, so you're left with a game that kind of looks like it's pick mapped or, you know, kind of playing a quake or something like that. Uh, reasons why you might want to do this, uh, it definitely makes it easier. Uh, to uh, make our characters against a flat background versus something with a high level of decals on it. Um, it's just the figure uh, figure background effect, basically. Uh, in the competitive scene, you just you don't need all the high fancy level of animation and de um, decals that the game offers. That's not uh, saying that the game doesn't look great in the first place. It, it looks beautiful, but in a in a competitive scene, you just want the information that you need, and you get rid of all the other stuff like um, you know brick details and and all that. Yeah, all that jazz. Um, in order to do this, what you're going to need is an application known as NVIDIA Inspector. You can just uh, Google that, um, and basically it's the first link that comes up, and I'm not sure if the older versions uh, work with old, uh, with Overwatch, but this is the version I have over here, 1.7.3. Uh, uh, once, you, once you have uh, NVIDIA Inspector and you've installed it, uh, open it up and go to this little tab here, this uh, screwdriver. Once you've clicked that, it'll open up this uh, larger bit. You want to go up to the top and type in Overwatch. Just type in. Click on that, and it'll bring up Overwatch's uh, profile. You want to go down until you find texture filtering, texture filtering load bias. Uh, you can change this to a different value. The lower, the more detail, the higher, the less detail. Uh, but it only goes to a certain point. At the moment, um, what you select in this won't actually make it look like this. Uh, you need to do some extra tweaking, but um, the thing that comes with having uh, a lot scale of this level, uh, you can't really make out sprays or anything like that, and the character detail and colors are kind of reworked just slightly. Um, but in order to do this, what you need to do is go to your large page here, and you go to this uh, kind of drive with an up arrow on it and go to the drop down and export current profile only. You, you know, have or whatever, and you save it. I already saved mine there. Uh, so then you find that um, little uh, doc that you saved. You, you open it with uh, Word or Notepad or whatever. Um, and you want to find this value here, uh, 7573135. And the value below that is your LOD scale. Um, up to a maximum of 15, so currently it's at 15. Uh, whatever your desired value is from 1 to 15, you need to times that by 8, and that's the number that you put in here. So for a lot scale of 15, you times that by 8, you get 120, and it'll give you this. For a lot scale of 10, you times that by 8, you get uh, 80, and you put 80 in there. Um, 80 would be a bit more um, detailed than this. It definitely won't have the you know completely flat walls and detracted uh, textures and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so once you have uh, your value selected, you're going to save that and you go back into the large bit here and then uh, you go to the right of that and the down arrow on the drive and you import profile and you import the profile that you just saved um, and that's basically all you need to do and then you apply changes, you can close the NVIDIA inspector, open up Overwatch and it should look like this. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll try to respond to them as quickly as I can. Um, that's all for this week. I'll see you another time. Thank you.